What a beautiful day. Um, we're gonna be doing something really cool today. I brought Big Flipper out. We've had it just about a year, and it's become pretty recognized in the industry. I mean, everyone knows us as the 75 ton with no underlift. The truck with the fridge, Big Flipper. But I've yet to do something with it that kind of really makes my jaw drop or that's like, wow. And I don't know if this will be it, but it'll get close. I was at the Miller event at the beginning of the month to demo the M100, to see the demo. And they had the M100 lift up a 75 ton while lifting another truck. And that was cool, but I thought, you know, for that truck, it, it probably could have done more. Seems like they played it safe. And I was wondering if I could do that. Obviously, I'm not gonna pick up a 75 ton that's, that's holding up a 5130, but I can probably pick up our 60 ton that's gonna be lifting our 20 ton medium. So I'm here with senior rotator leader at Pepe Stone, Dave. And we're gonna see, we're gonna push this truck to the limits. We'll be lifting up close to 100,000 pounds. Let's start rigging. I'm gonna start setting up the outriggers on Big Flipper while they rig up the medium duty to the 60 ton. We're right here in front of the famous historic Sears building in downtown LA. All well, at the Ford downtown on Olympic. So when I throw the drone up in the air, hopefully I'll get some really, really good shots. The Skookum Snatch Box, uh, Skookum, however you pronounce it, on Big Flipper, rated at 15 tons each. Now that's not gonna suffice. So we need two. Heavy. And you really appreciate the lightweightness of the skookums when you have to carry heavy ones. Got the boys setting everything up right now. So to recap, Big Flipper will be lifting our 60 ton, which in turn is going to be lifting our medium duty, unit you know, 24. Again, inspired by Miller's M100 event. Of course, they lifted more weight, but we're going to be pushing close to 90,000. Our 60 ton with everything inside it weighs just right at 60,000, if not a bit more. And our medium duty is right about, uh, I think, 24. You know what? My numbers are off then, so it's going to be closer to about 85,000. Still an impressive amount of weight. We're right here behind the famous historic Sears building. Let's see if I can show you guys the side. Right at the base of downtown LA. Look at that beautiful smog. Alright, I'm gonna go land this bad boy. Save the battery for when the, the lifting part happens. Up in the 60 ton now. Rubber pads are good and secure, Joe. Huh? Rubber pads are good? Yeah. Well, no yeah, it's not scratch yet. Good. Yeah, you got them on the other side. Yeah. On this one was easy. We went to the frame, using our chain, and then double back up right behind the light bar. Get that perfect sweet spot so it doesn't hit.
Now as he picks up in the rear, it's going to want to go forward. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like our rigging in the front is just a tad bit off. They're going to readjust so it's perfect. On a big lift like this, when we're in a controlled environment, there's no excuse to not be perfect. That's a trip, man. For the longest time, for many years, this was our king. Sending out the 60 ton was like the big gun. Now Big Flipper came along and just moved. Ton is in position and we are airborne. Let's drop it down low and see. This parking lot's horribly uneven. Before we do the real that they'll probably drop it a link on the driver's side and go up a link on the passenger side balance it so far it's looking good and right now the guys are rigging up the snatch box on big flipper We're gonna part the lines. We got Joe here in the 50 ton wrecker. Just in case he gets a call or something, we can bone out. That's a lot of peppers. Pretty much, um, I don't want to say we're there, but we're close. Rigging is almost complete. The 60 ton and the medium duty are, are good to go. Now we're just putting the final touches on Big Flipper. Should look really cool when it's all done. Shade's going away, so it's gonna start getting hot. Hey, yikes. Drone steady. All right, Dave, do your thing. Airborne. Higher. about red cable in? Like this? What do you mean? Your it's red a little bit off, but it's high. It is high, but it's a little bit off. You're good? Red cable, there you go. You're 100% airborne, Dave. Let me walk around this thing. Let me get my drone up in here.
I'm such a little kid. This is so cool. Let the drone hover for a bit. Just so you guys can see, it is fully airborne. Now we're playing it safe. Again, we got a giant controlled environment. I mean, I'm sure we can go higher with the boom, but I'm satisfied with how it came out. This thing is strong. You did good, big flipper. You did good. All right, Dave, let's lower it. Lower it. Good to go. So off the top of my head, I don't know the exact weight on truck 24 or medium duty. Um, I want to say anywhere between 22, 25,000 pounds. And the 60 ton is just pushing 60,000. I think it's anywhere from like 59 and some change to 60 and some change. But uh, not bad. We got a total weight of anywhere between 82,000 to 85,000 pounds. Picked it up in the air pretty easy. So now we know for those big jobs, just a couple of extra snatch blocks and the right equipment. And this thing will move some serious weight. Could we have picked up a heavier truck with the 60 ton to make this whole thing more impressive? Sure. But I mean, if it did this, it's easy. I know it's capable of more. So now comes the fun part of putting everything away. Hope you guys enjoyed our little demo.